dun, dink, 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 dink. Welcome to the John and Jillian podcast. Dick Welcome yeah. everyone. Dick yeah. Do you want to know what this tea that I drink? It has like uh, little fortunes on them. Oh yeah, let's hear what your fortune is. It's Are like they a, like the Oprah Winfrey ones on yeah, Starbucks? Oh. Yeah, they're not really fortunes. They're just like little thoughts. Life is a flow of love. Your participation is requested. Oh, that sounds like a booty call on the T. Like an eloquent, <laughs> an eloquent T booty, booty call. call. Oh, man. Love is requested. Oh. Please provide your participation. Love this T. <laughs> right? Yeah, that T wants you bad. That T wants a D. Girl. Girl, I know you want, want that T. Oh. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining us today. We have um, some fun stuff to talk about. Why don't you tell them? Um, I want to talk about con- conspiracy theories because I really, really like them. I enjoy them. I've watched every episode of Ancient Aliens ever, and I'm obsessed with Googling them and knowing what exists. So we each had to pick like one or two uh, conspiracy theories, and we're going to talk about whether or not we think that they're true. Yeah. And... Yeah, that's about it. Like, I I go so far down the rabbit hole, but I don't think we're ready to go all the way there. This will just be a nice intro. Like to a some nice little intro. We'll ease into conspiracy it. Conspiracy theories. And I, I looked up a couple of uh, my own, and I'm really curious to talk about Jenna's, but there were there was some stuff that really kind of baffled me. Uh, why don't we start with one of yours? I say that we start with something general to get ourselves warmed up. Yes. Yeah, that sounds good. Yes. This is me warming up. Good warm, noises. Warm it up. Warm it up. <laughs> this warm so it up. Gross. <laughs> Are you ready? It's like that vine of that guy putting his finger in mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was just him swirling around mac and cheese with his pointer finger, and the caption just said, Does this make does you this uncomfortable? Make you uncomfortable? Yes. yes. Yes, it does. Sounds like noodles. Speaking of which, this is totally off topic. But one of the kids at the camp I used to work at, he couldn't hear other children or other people chewing gum or eating pasta or else it would make him throw up. Yeah. <laughs> so we had to sit at another table and I didn't think it was for real until one day on the bus ride home, he just he threw it. up everywhere because the kid <laughs> next to him was chewing gum. <laughs> the gum? I can understand pasta. Chewing gum though, I mean, I don't know. Pasta is like gross though. When people chew it gross, it can be nasty. Yeah, but like if that kid watched that fine, he'd pass out in his own puke. Yeah. Yeah, just he'd sounds be like fucked. pasta. No, he'd probably die. Anyways, <laughs> I didn't. Apparently, that's a real thing. If someone tells you that they have that condition, take it seriously. Yeah, <laughs> they're not lying. Yeah, don't don't eat pasta in front of them. That's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny, man. It's not funny. All right, so I think that we should warm up. Let's start with something classic. All right, what do you got? Bigfoot. <laughs> okay. What are your thoughts on Bigfoot? Well, I'm assuming that everyone understands what. Bigfoot is. Well, let's go over it just for those who, who may not. Uh, I guess Bigfoot is, it's a conspiracy theory that there is existing in the woods somewhere, right, that is like what, an eight foot tall creature who is like mainly human, but he's covered in fur. He's called Bigfoot or a Sasquatch, right? Or a, or a Yeti. Or a Yeti. But basically he looks like a, like a seven or eight foot tall hairy human and uh, people have claimed to, you know, have spotted him in the forest. Uh, but I mean, how, what, what, what extent does the myth go, or the urban legend, or whatever you want to call it, go? Like, what facts about him have been put out there? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is it just a big so person? many? Okay, so why don't we keep it basic? But what are a few of like the the popular facts about Bigfoot the besides people, the fact that he's big? The people have heard him. They hear his noise. Well, first of all, let's just clarify that the idea of Bigfoot is kind of cross-cultural because he's been spotted in different places. Yeah. Like, he's not just, you know, there's not just a Bigfoot of, like, you know, North Dakota. People claim to have seen him all over the world. As if it's one or a species. As if it's more than one. A species, okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what a Yeti is. Isn't Got the it. Yeti the, like, the snow one or whatever? Got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. I think that America is consumed with the one that apparently lingers around our woods. Yeah. Which is, you know, Sasquatch or Bigfoot. Yeah. 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 That's it? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't... What? What are you asking me something? <laughs> Do you think that there's a Bigfoot? 
I mean, here's the thing. Like, the amount of land to human ratio, or the amount of, I should say, the amount of land discovered to the amount of land undiscovered ratio allows for that theory to be a possibility. I agree. I think that there is a Bigfoot. And I you think know that what? there's lots of Bigfoots. I think there's probably underwater Bigfoots. I think I there's agree some with that. crazy shit in you the You mean water. the Loch Ness Monster. Yes. But basically, I, I'm, I'm not going to say, yeah, I know there's a Bigfoot, but I'm also not going to say no way because uh, the possibility that it's just completely hasn't even been discovered yet because of the, just the vastness of Earth is, is, is plausible. So, I'm, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say fuck yeah. All right. Fuck yes, there's a Bigfoot and or Yeti and or Sasquatch. Yeah. They exist. Because you know what, Julian? That many people can't just be bullshitting. That's my opinion. No, I agree. I like, agree. They're just like these old people who have nothing to lose. They're just sitting there being like, yeah, dude, I was fucking playing with my cows, making some money being a farmer, and well, I fucking Why would him. he make it up? Yeah. 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 Just, or nothing um, to gain by lying, yeah. rather. No, for sure. So we're both pretty much on the same. There's, we no, think. my answer is okay. fuck yeah. Well, we're on the same end of the spectrum. You're just further on that end. Yeah, uh, I'm all the way over. So do we need to continue with the big put or move on? No, we can move on. Okay. We're, um, we're getting you, warmed up though. Why don't you announce it? I'm going to turn down that fire because I think that's making the ringing noise that okay. I don't want it to go. All right, so go, go ahead. On that same note though, I think that underwater creatures like crazy shit, obviously, that we don't know exists because underwater is fucking like what the f- we can only go so far down certain there's like abysses there's like giant cracks like into the fucking earth that we can't get down i want to know what the fuck is down there and i think that lock the loch ness monster is fucking real yeah the, the same thing though same thing why would that many people just be bullshitting I yeah. think people want to believe after a certain point because it's so yeah it's magical yeah at this point yeah that particular it's cool to believe yeah legend for sure I I think I just think that well one of the one of the the conspiracies I brought up and we'll talk about has to do with just um, a little bit like the ocean like and how vast it is mm-hmm. like what what I don't even know what, I'm gonna Google it what percentage of the ocean has been you know what I mean? Charted? Unexplored, yeah. So, okay. The ocean covers 71% of the Earth's surface and contains 97% of the planet's water, yet more than 95% of underwater worlds remains unexplored. Mm-hmm. That's insane. Yeah. So, yes. Yes to everything underwater. They all exist. They all exist. Including, Julian, lead us into your first actual conspiracy theory that we're going to talk about right now. Okay. Now that we're fucking warmed up. All right. I'm ready for the conspiracies. Okay. This shit is crazy. Hit us. Okay. It's basically called, I think it, the name of it is called the hollow, hollow earth, earth. Yeah. theory. And later we're going to talk about the hollow moon theory, which was mine, which is what I chose. Because yes. Because I love that shit. <laughs> yes. So I think there there were books written on this, and there's fiction also that centers around this premise. But basically, yeah, science fiction, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Right? No, yeah, but that's very yeah. different. Well, it's very different because the just it's it's just different. I mean, Got yes, it. yeah, it's yeah, the center yeah, of the Earth. Anyway, Hollow Earth. So basically, this uh, conspiracy theory states that the North and the South Pole on Earth are non-existent. There is no North or South Pole. Instead, there are gateways to the inside of planet Earth. And it, if you can picture it, it's like two seas facing each other. So this is what the outer, you know, the outer part of Earth looks like. Uh, you know, that's the crust that we're on, and then the the deepest part of the ocean, and then that's it. And then inside, there's in a completely different world that's existing with an incredibly advanced, like thousands of years further, scientifically and otherwise advanced species of human mm-hmm. who are living a month, uh, sorry, living amongst mammoths, dinosaurs, aliens. Um, and basically, I mean, that, that's kind of just the general idea of it. Why this is interesting is because of the history behind it. So there's this pilot in 1947 for the Air Force, and he was taking a flight somewhere, and he was headed towards the North Pole. And He was just casually flying over well, the North Pole? Where he is was, he going? He was going on an exploration flight. Mm. But he was trying to... Those was, never end well. No, they don't. They don't end well. <laughs> I think I'm just going to get my plane and explore around. 
Why don't you explore in something else? <laughs> or not explore. Uh, uh, so he's flying towards the North Pole. Mm-hmm. This is 1947. Mm-hmm. So you can imagine one of those old planes. Like, yeah, you can't, fucking, you can't stand up. Oh. Is the top open also? So you just got like goggles no, no. and a hat he, on? It's about that. Anyway, he's flying over the so North Pole. This, okay, so this is destined to be a great flight. Well, like you don't know the theory of like the magnetism or anything. Like, just fuck it. Let's go fly over it. That's the top of the world. Well, fuck okay. It. So a big reason why this guy, Admiral Admiral Byrd, mm-hmm. uh, was his name, Admiral Richard Byrd, was discounted, was because uh, he didn't talk about this right after it happened. Mm-hmm. And he claims in his in his journal that which I read with these entries, he claims that he didn't say that because he was threatened. You know, by the U.S. government, when he got back and told everyone, because he was a military guy, uh, not to say is. anything. Yeah, fucking so, government, man. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 you're right. I'm just trying to gather my thoughts. This is just such a crazy theory. Anyway, so he he like documents in his journal basically his flight every like oh nine fifteen hours in the distance is what appears to be mountains oh nine fifty five altitude changes to twenty nine fifty feet mm. encountering strong turbulence just normal stuff you would document on a right. on a flight then he goes from okay so he goes from seeing north pole type climate like mm-hmm. snow snow covered mountains glaciers stuff like that you know how high he's flying by the way yeah around three thousand feet okay um they yeah, said like twenty nine fifty feet. Anyway, so he goes from he he sees these ice and snow, and then he says we are crossing over the small mountain range and still proceeding northward. Uh, beyond the mountain range is what appears to be a valley with a small river of stream running through this inner portion with a green and a valley like lots of grass mm-hmm. and and he said this shouldn't be happening because right. I'm going north. I've only been going north. Right. I should be seeing only snow, only ice stuff like that. Uh, and then he says. You know, because um, he's only 3,000 feet above right. ground, so he can see things. So right. he's like, and then he says, I see, you know, an, an elephant. Or wait, no, no, it's a mammoth. It's a mammoth type creature. This thing is huge, and there are people. And it, this is really crazy. But anyway, then he gets to explaining how at a certain point after seeing this new climate, which is basically like a dream for him because this is like not real, mm-hmm. he loses control of his plane, and it feels like he's just drifting now. He's he's all of his meters are spinning around. Yay. He's got no control of the plane, so he starts Fuck to just be life. like completely out of control. But it's not like turbulence. He's just like completely at some right, other like it's will. Pulling him in. Yeah. yeah. So he gets he lands un- inexplicably. Uh, two tall blonde creatures, humans, but mm-hmm. just tall blonde looking people approach him and basically take him to like a meeting in their world. He's now in the world of inside earth. Okay. And the, I know this is dragging on, but the huh. the basically the, what they say to him is you know, the humans, your race does not know of our race. They don't Lies. know we, we know all about. Well, you. they don't know we exist, <laughs> and the reason why we brought you down here is because this was like 1947 or whatever, so he's like when you guys dropped the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, we sent a couple, I forget what they call them. We sent our like plane, whatever they call their planes, I'm going to look, whatever, uh, up to try to intervene and tell you guys or communicate with you guys that that, that atomic energy is not, basically not to be fucked with. Right. Like that is going to be the demise of your species. That's going to be the, the demise of this planet. You guys cannot mess with atomic bombs. And they didn't listen. And they told this guy, like, we, you guys didn't listen. Now we're telling you. Ugh, this poor guy, huh? He's just trying to chill and explore the North Pole. Now we're telling you, <laughs> you need to go back and tell everyone. He's, like, just, like, taking the rap for the entire fucking thing. So he goes back. He's, like, slapping him on the wrist. He, like, right? excuse you, tall blonde person. I didn't do that. <laughs> and and there's aliens there and they're they're advanced and they oh he said he said the car that they took him from his plane into their room they had no wheels it was mm-hmm. just like a hover car and this is 1947 and he's writing this in 19 whatever anyway so basically he goes back he tells his government he's like you guys this is what the fuck just happened and they completely silence him mm-hmm. and then his journal entry came out with a a very detailed kind of theory and plot of what this earth you know the how hollow earth could be yeah. And there's plenty of, I mean, these graphs that people and um, and diagrams that people have come up with. And I mean, it's very, very extensive. But basically, mm-hmm. that's it. Okay. So let's break that down yeah. for one okay. second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I will go ahead and be the first one to say that I am all on board for Hollow Earth Theory. Now, before we even get into any of this, yeah. I will have you guys know, I think I already said this, I think I've said this a million times, I'm obsessed with ancient alien theory, which is, to simply put, the idea that aliens have been around forever and ever, much, much longer than we have. We are the planet of the children, yeah. and that everything that mm -hmm. has happened in human civilization, aliens have had a hand in, and it crosses through to religion like that gods aren't actually gods they're just like aliens that help us and tell us how to live our lives and la 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 and oh great job you built yeah. the pyramids just kidding yeah. you had serious scientific help if you want to go down a rabbit hole watch ancient aliens on anything what it's on a and e yeah it's on, it? i think History it's on channel. one channel yeah you can find it probably on netflix or hulu or some shit like that it's worth looking into some of them yeah it's a stretch but i just love the idea yeah. and that's how i feel about all conspiracy theories but i am particularly invested in ancient alien theory not as in like i'm completely sold this is how the world works yeah but i thoroughly well, enjoy they... it and i love entertaining the idea and yeah. i i really do like i love some of the things that they point out because they do a good so job they do a good job of of their of making episodes because i feel like they really focus on specific incidences. Yeah, and they break it down. They break it down and they, they focus on... And they do exactly. all of that. So that's exactly. why yeah. getting back to what you just pointed out is like one teeny tiny theory that they would point out in an episode yeah. of Ancient Aliens yeah. that would be compelling. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm all bought into Hollow Earth all, all the way. I mean, the the rationale of your brain says, okay, no, fuck no. Like, of course, science says. No, it doesn't. It, well, no, I'm says yes. Okay. <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, your initial thoughts as a human who lives in the 21st century and knows what science has been discovered and all that stuff says, okay, of course it can't be hollow. Everything that science has taught us says it can't be hollow. Says it can't be hollow to the point where there's an entire world and then a sun <laughs> in the middle of the world. Right, like an atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why are we on the outside? Can we go on the inside? But you do Sounds have to. But you do have to wonder a little bit. You do have to like suspend like logic for a second and think about why it's even a thing. Why people even take the time to come up with this stuff or think about it or spread the right. word That's about it. That's why I love conspiracy theories so much because you can't get to that without expanding your mind. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, sorry. No, you're good. Like, I, I just want to know what other people think. Yeah. Like, when other people are just sitting around thinking about things, what do they fucking hypothesize? Yeah. yeah. So, th somebody found this guy's journal or whatever and, you know, typed it up on the internet. Yeah. This happened a long time ago, I'm assuming. Yep. People have found it and read it. But 1947. Then, right. No, 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 that. But I'm saying that people started spreading the word around that it exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, the what you're saying about the graphs and the pictures and the, the writing, the supporting it. I know I see that. <laughs> like, that's what I like, that yeah. people get consumed by it and then give you all the reasons that it could possibly be true. Yeah, because it runs away. It snowballs and then it turns into something that you can't ignore if you're looking at stuff like this yeah, it's fucking awesome we're so we're looking at a picture right now of just the top of the earth with a giant it's basically like a sinkhole in, in the top <laughs> of the earth uh that's like the size of you know fucking russia yeah that's how big it is good picture fucking guys crazy um so what do you think of this i mean you just you just think yes it's completely possible there's an advanced species living amongst aliens mammoths dinosaurs inside of our earth with a new sun well here's the problem is that earth is widely accepted to be made of a dense solid core yeah. which is, when we talk about hollow earth theory it's the same sort of thing like you have seismic activity yeah. like there's earthquakes and shit that aren't really like don't align with having a hollow core yeah but what well do you know the deepest we've explored inside the earth in real life not in, no idea not a that. single clue keep talking about what you're saying science would point to the idea that earth has a solid core and i you know believe that <laughs> it's not that i don't believe science it's just that i i like conspiracy theories more it's more exciting it's more fun yeah why not why not 
So I'm looking at the Kola Super Deep Borehole, which is apparently the deepest anyone has ever dug into Earth. They mm. reached 12,262 meters, which is basically 40,000 feet in 1989, which is still the deepest artificial point. So now if we're looking at this graphic, 40,000 feet. It doesn't okay. even get you. That doesn't even get you close. That doesn't even get you close to where they're saying our outer Earth ends. Right, of course They say not. it ends 800 miles Have in. Have we ever broken through the crust of the Earth? Well, if it's deeper than 40,000, then no. Which, I mean, parts of the crust have to be. Because this, this Kola Super Deep Hole is saying it j drilled was stopped. I mean, yeah, the drill string was twisted off and left in the hole. Yeah, because they're like, fuck, man, we're going nowhere. <laughs> Yeah. We go in no go way. In no way. Anyway, the the point is is that this theory has not technically been disproven. Right? I mean, yeah, like we've Well, we've... okay. It has and it hasn't because the, we know how solid objects act. We know how solid planets act. Do we though? We do. Ask the people on fucking NASA. Yeah, They're... but we don't know how how planets in the hollow earth world would act <laughs> like what if what if hold on though what if like this the geography of the hollow earth is like a completely foreign science to us and we have no idea if that could be real because we don't know anything about it like there's nothing to study to compare that to oh yeah i see where you're going and i think what i have can help you articulate that but i think the general laws of gravity we're assuming apply to solid objects. The yeah. Earth responds like a solid object. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. No, I'm playing. I'm playing a little bit. Does doubles up. Well, no, I know you are. Yeah. Because I'm. I love hollow fucking moon theory. Like yeah. there's no tomorrow, and every time I look at the moon, I get obsessed with it. So <laughs> I buy into hollow Earth theory. I see what you're saying. Okay. So. Okay. Time out though. Yeah. What do you think happens in the middle of the Earth? Who do you think resides in there besides mammoths? Tall, blonde, very smart, thousands of adva thousands of years advanced genius people flying on their hoverboards. But they're not people. Well, they are a people. They're a people. They're a people. They're not like, they're not our race. Like marbles. They are a different race. They are not like the human race. They they're are an altered people. advanced version of us which in turn makes them different so that's what i honestly we're, we're the aliens uh, uh, devil's advocate over here i think this could be completely true <laughs> it's just so fucking insane to think about i mean i love thinking about this stuff because it really just like suspends my mind like i never thought about this stuff so now that i can think about it it's like you never think about this i've never thought about the, if the earth was hollow and there was a come you on need, you, you haven't thought a, about that. what are you talking about you ever watch Ancient Aliens? All right. You talk about You know everything. how much Ancient Aliens I've watched. Oh, everyone falls asleep when they watch Ancient Aliens with me. I'm the only one that's like glued to it, like fucking losing my mind. It no, puts everyone else to sleep. It doesn't put me to sleep. I'm just saying. Aliens. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's cool to think about this. So I'd like to think that it could be true. Why don't we segue right into the hollow moon theory? What is that? Okay. So basically the hollow moon theory is that the moon is hollow, okay. et cetera, et cetera. Our moon. Yeah, okay. Our moon. Because the the one that I'm going to talk about, because there are theories that it's just fucking hollow. Yeah. But the one that I'm going to talk about is that it's actually a spaceship. Okay. And okay. is that the hollow moon theory? Yeah. Oh, that, okay. That it's a fucking spaceship. Okay. All right. And are you ready? Hit these, us. These are, these are the five ideas as to how the moon came to exist okay one is by capture so that like the earth is heavier and denser and it as it was traveling through space it captured the moon and then it got into earth's orbit okay but people don't agree with that because they have essentially identical oxi oxygen isotope ratios which is retarded okay i shouldn't say that word sorry for offending everyone i'm very sorry <laughs> um and a close encounter with Earth typically results in either collision or altered trajectories, which the moon has almost a perfect circle orbit of the okay. Earth. Yeah. Not elliptical. Okay. It's like slightly elliptical, obviously, or else it doesn't fucking work, but it's that's banana crap. Okay. The other idea, there's five of these. Oh, okay. Of how, just <clears throat> how the moon was formed. Okay. Which all are sort of wonky. Yeah. Was that it sort of flew out of the Pacific Ocean. 
uh, because of the gravity. The Pacific Ocean is big enough, right? Okay, let, let me just read this to you. <laughs> okay, Julia. <laughs> Sorry. This theory states that during a time when the Earth was forming and was still molten, the spinning of the planet projected out material which became our moon today. The Pacific Ocean was supposedly the area where the moon came from. However, this was debunked considering the immaturity of the ocean floor crust and knowing that the moon formed much longer ago. Okay. So, for example, we've studied the rocks on the moon. Yes. They're older than the ones on the Earth. Yes. So almost all of these that claim that it was part of the Earth before can't possibly be true. Because okay, because science has said the, what's on the moon is older than what's on Earth. Right. Um, the other theory is that they formed together at the same time. The but, moon and the Earth? Yes. Okay. Uh, but the problem is that it does not explain the angular momentum of the Earth-Moon system or why the moon has a relatively small iron core compared to the Earth, 25% of its radius compared to 50% of the Earth. Got it. Um, a more radical alternative hypothesis published in 2010 proposed that the moon may have been formed from the explosion of a geo actor whatever the dick that is geo reactor or geo actor geo reactor you right you right i'm an idiot located along the core mantle boundary <laughs> la 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 don't know what that means but people <laughs> don't accept it the giant impact theory was the most widely accepted for a while which was the idea that some other planet or thing within our solar system crashed into the moon and then made what is the moon today but people don't agree with that either because the material on the fucking moon isn't really found anywhere else in our solar system. So fucking suck a dick. The moon's older than the earth. The rocks, the chemical composition of the dust upon which the rocks sat differently, remarkably from the rocks themselves. Mm -hmm. The dust underneath the rocks are different, yeah. which means that the rocks were brought from somewhere else. There's heavier elements on the surface of the moon than underneath the surface of the moon, which is fucking backwards yeah, but as can, dick. But can't that be attributed to the lack of gravity? Mm, I don't know the answer to that, but sorry, time just, out. Okay. Just let me fucking yeah, go. Sorry, I just thought. There's water vapor. Lunar instruments placed by astronauts recorded a water vapor cloud of water passing across the surface of the moon. The cloud lasted 14 hours and covered an area about 100 square miles. Tell me that that fucking... Okay, anyways. The, no, the most compelling evidence has process. yet to come, so just fucking right. hold your dick on. I'm holding my okay? dick on right The now. rocks are fucking magnetic. So, Julian, I'm hey. Listening. I'm Hey. I'm li No, you were like... You were just over there. Hey. No, I, I'm... Go. The please. rocks are okay. magnetic. Yes. The most compelling to me... All right, I'll just fucking cut to the chase, all right? Yeah. The most compelling to me is that the craters... Yeah. They're huge, some of them, but okay. the depth of them don't make any sense, and the bottoms of a lot of them are flat, or they're even convex. Do you know what I mean? Which wouldn't align with something hitting it. Right. Going, okay. Yeah. So the idea is that it has like a solid inner hull, which is basically a fucking spaceship, and then they covered it with rocks. <sighs> From another place so like they, that we don't know. <laughs> They're magnetized, so they fucking stick to this. Because the small ones, if it gets hit with small craters, it has, you know, a regular reaction. But the big ones, like, assuming the the, the, the radius of yeah. this fucking comet or mm -hmm. whatever the fuck is hit it, <laughs> it should be a lot fucking deeper. They're huge. No, but instead it went bang and it and hit the outside shallow. of the spaceship. They're fucking shallow. There's hundreds of moonquakes up there, like mostly science. That's what they have argued is like, no, dude, they have <clears throat> seismic activity, they have earthquakes. So you think that core. would be attributed to the spaceship moving? No, no, no. Well, yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> okay. And uh, the other idea is the the moment of inertia. I think is what they're talking about. The when something comes into the area that it could be pulled into their gravitational pull, how fast and how hard that is. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. So it aligns with you know, a little bit less than Earth so that it seems like it would be a solid, dense core. Okay. Because if it had a, a hollow core, the moment of inertia or whatever would be a lot less. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, the, this one's my favorite. I got a fucking, I'm finding it. Moon Echoes. Okay, you ready for this? I'm ready. Uh, on November 20th, 1969, the Apollo 12 crew, uh, they whatever, they, la la la, it's too much fancy language. Basically, they landed on the moon, but they crashed into it, sort of. And it created an artif artificial moonquake with the startling characteristics. The moon reverberated like a bell for more than an hour. 
Because <laughs> the in- inside is metal and it's a spaceship. Well, what, yeah, what do you think happens when you crash something giant well, uh, into something hollow? It sounds like a fucking bell. If the moon is what we think it is, what do you think the, re- the reaction would have been? What does that mean? Like if something crashed into it, like a spaceship, and it's the moon. It's it a ring, solid moon. ring like a bell. Duh. I just told you that. No, but that supports the theory that it's a spaceship. Right. What I'm saying is if this, oh, the moon were not... it would just crash not, and burn. And it won't... Like if things, the moon wouldn't shake, right? Right, it would yeah. Just things crash into Earth all it. the time. Yeah, okay. That's what I was asking. And, no, and the Earth doesn't ring. Hello? The ringing thing is pretty odd. That, yeah, I'll give you that. Awesome. That's pretty fucking crazy. Okay. Anyways, keep going. Our moon is the only moon in the solar, solar system that has a stationary, near-perfect, circular orbit. Although it's still elliptical. La, 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 la. Um... It's just not possible. If you watch Ancient Aliens and the episode they talk about this, it's just like the the perfection of it, the size, the orbit, the the fact that it perfectly aligns with the sun to make a complete eclipse is just bananas. It's like not fucking possible. Okay, so who's operating the spaceship, do you think? Well, the idea is that there's a reptilian race of aliens that used it. They went there because there's uh hold on I even I even you jump in the gun here. I'm asking questions. I'm allowed okay. to ask questions. Okay, so there's ancient people, whatever the fuck. I'm not even getting into their names, but they have a uh, fucking now, now I see it's like panicky to try and read something and talk about it at the same time. No, take your time. I'm listening. Uh, Zulu shaman Credo Mutua said that Zulu legends believe the moon to be a hollow home of the. Python or Chitarui, but basically there are these people in Bolivia and they have their writings and sculptures about when the moon first started being in the sky <laughs> and that it caused all these cataclysmic events and shit, Okay. but that the moon wasn't always in the sky and then all of a sudden it was. And there so was- as, as if it was a spaceship, it just approached and then arrived. No, they, nobody like flew the moon over. It's the, according to legend, they rolled it from the sun to where it is. Oh, <laughs> they rolled it from the sun. And according to these people, also women did not menstruate before the moon arrived. Like a lot of things did not happen before there the moon no, arrived. There were no tidal waves or anything. Right. And no. then after the moon arrived, <clears throat> shit got fucking real. Well, okay. I mean, I, you still have more to go though, right? No, that's that's my favorite parts. But there's a lot of stuff on it. I love that shit. I want to watch... Will you show me that episode? I want to watch that episode. Yes. Okay, I want to watch it. It's so amazing. Though also the one about underwater like places is amazing. Because there's yeah. things I've never even seen or heard about on there yeah. where you're just like, what the fuck? How yeah. come we're not talking about this, yeah. friends? No, yeah. I'll give it to you. Some of those episodes really just kind of like hit you in the face with like the amount of like coincidences and you're just like what well yeah some of it you're just like all right dude all right giorgio aliens Sucralos. this is yeah. way this is such a stretch it's not even funny yeah but then some of it is really compelling yeah no for sure for sure i want to watch that episode yeah it's great ancient aliens all right so what are your two cents hollow hollow moon theory mm-hmm. yes or no yeah you're nay what do you got well to be fair, I don't want to say something and then go research it later, which I do plan on doing, and then have myself kick myself because I'm like, oh, wow, I should have thought about this. So I'm not going to give you a full answer, but I do think that if I go look this stuff up and I watch that episode with you and th- there's any sort of solid, uh, I don't know, solid reasoning or any any way to believe that that whole ringing thing is true because that's pretty crazy to me that's what really i will take that i will take anyone excited enough about the hollow moon theory to be a win well i want to see basically <laughs> i want to look at the the validity of that ringing story okay like i want to i want to see what so do you know when that was it's a 19 something 70 60, okay so 70. it's not ancient okay so yeah i mean like if that if that Ooh. story has any sort of any sort of validity to it. I'd be interested in, in looking at that more, but no. I mean, right now, I think the moon's the moon. Man, I've been looking at that moon different ever since Ancient Aliens fucking aired, man. <laughs> that moon different. Every There came a time when I was watching Ancient Aliens. Yeah. This is, like, I'm obsessed with it. I don't care. 
Like, every single episode, I would just be Googling things furiously after the episode was over. Like, I get that excited about everything that they present. I know. You, you I know. No, I get, like, I go down rabbit holes. You get really holes. giddy. Yeah, no, for sure. I love it. It's crazy. It's love cool to think about. It. It's just like when I was reading that Hollow, Hollow Earth thing, it's like, I want to learn more about that. There's, like, a couple books on it. I want to read those books. All right, what's your next theory? Because I'm, I'm... At total, t- <laughs> I'm as much as reasonably able t- to be bought into hollow moon theory as possible as a fun- functioning adult. <laughs> That's not an asshole. Uh, all right. I have one. Uh, it's called North Korean Utopia. Yes. Basically, it's that North Korea is really the only country on earth to have achieved a perfect utopia. And everything we hear about North Korea is this propaganda. Is utopia. Let's make a Oh, baby. I miss that show. R.I.P. We such... were like one of six people that watched that show yeah. that got canceled. And Rome was with the, one of the other, and Brett was one of the other. So we were four <laughs> of six people. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, all the, all the stuff we hear about North Korea, about how, you know, it's what a military state and people get whatever. All the stuff we hear is just propaganda to make them safe from us knowing that they have achieved utopia and the u.s government isn't on it they know about it but they are protecting north korea by feeding us what they feed us so basically that's it Mm. your aunt has been to north korea my yes she has she's been to north korea that is crazy she worked for the library of congress for a lot of years she's been to you know something insane over a hundred countries like she's been to places that you can't fucking go to yeah no, that's... one of which and recently like within the last five years has been to north korea and i haven't had a chance to sit down and talk with her because the last time i saw her was my brother's wedding and yes. it wasn't really an appropriate time to pick her brain about her visit to north korea for sure um but apparently you know she wasn't really allowed to take pictures and like do stuff like that because they do not want like you you go there and i don't even know how she went but it's not like she can come home and be like, "Hey, friends and family, here's all the wonderful things I did in North Korea." Like they don't, they don't want people to know, you know. Which gives validity to this theory. It's a secret. <laughs> For all we know, there could be beaches and Gatorade drinking fountains. Well, it also gives validity that my aunt Mary is a is a like wonderful, majestic. Like I, I hope to be her when I grow up. She was like one of the best people on the planet. And she got invited to this secret utopia. She went to the real utopia. I mean, it's a fucked up theory in theory. It is pretty fucked up. I don't believe this. I don't believe it either. But I think it's, it's funny to think about it's that. A, it's a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, it's no, it's. I mean, if, I'm, what's the consensus? I'm saying no. I say no completely. Here's one thing though, um, and this this is just purely my thoughts. There's nothing behind this, but it's just that like. If you've traveled to a different country, you get a quick understanding how different America is from the world. And having been lucky enough to go outside the country multiple times to places that are not like America, I sit here and think about that. I'm like, of course, North Korea is what it is. It's not a utopia. But if you were just someone who had never left America, if you were American, I'm speaking to you, and you hear this theory, you think, oh, maybe that's maybe that's real. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really... Because mm, you're an idiot? Well, it's not that you're an idiot. Because you're it's like, just that oh, you... dude, it's like shrouded in secrecy. Well, no, maybe just, they're hiding just... something good over there. Although, what an optimistic conspiracy theory. Right? That's such a nice <laughs> That person thought. is definitely thinking glass half full. Give them that much. <laughs> the person who can't... <laughs> dude, no, What if dude. this, like, shitty, like... No, country it's, that's causing all sorts of... <laughs> it's a really high kid meme, whatever that kid is. Ten guy. Ten guy? Ten guy, that's his name, Ten it guy. Is? Yeah, Ten He's guy. He's saying that, like, what if North Korea is actually just a utopia? <laughs> <laughs> what if that, that country that's causing all sorts of bad things and is a military state is actually just, like, beaches? Yeah, fucking, oh my god. I just, I only said that because, like... Once you see a third world country, not a third world country, just a country that's very different than America, it becomes real in your mind. Like the things you hear about North Korea, it can be, it can, it's plausible. Hmm. I'm glad that you brought that conspiracy theory in, though, because 
I like. I like the ones that are just like, wait a fucking second. What? <laughs> wait a fucking second. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What's your What's your other one? Uh, are we moving on from that one? Yeah, let's move on from that one. Do you have another one? I want to go to yours. This is Utopia. My next one's Indians, but I just like. Go to yours. I like the Skip one. Mine. I like the one that uh, Hitler never actually died, and he left in a submarine, went to Antarctica, and uh, there were a secret race of people there that accepted him and decided he was, like, cool, and so he just lives. He's frozen. It's called Frozen Nazis. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, no comment. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. Just to go back to yours for one second. Yeah. Why would it be a problem for the rest of the world to know that North Korea was a utopia? Because then everyone would go to North Korea and they'd have to kill everyone. Okay, but utopia isn't for everyone. We know that. This is utopia. <laughs> utopia. Okay. All right. Back to... Okay. I want to... All right. I love the ones that that conspire that people died and then... Or people didn't die. And then, like, there was one that said... Like, like Elvis, like Tupac. They're <laughs> so, everywhere. Yeah. I was reading, of course, Reddit, and someone was like, <laughs> there's one that uh, Eminem died, like, 15 years ago, and there's been a clone <laughs> pretending to be him since. And someone was like, well, there's validity to this. Have you seen him stand up? Have you seen the real Slim Shady stand up? And then they linked, like, a bunch of pictures of him sitting down in the past, like, <laughs> 15 years. But, um, no, the ones of people who... There's, there's one uh, I read that... So when Michael Jordan was playing baseball, like he took his hiatus, whatever, to play baseball, mm-hmm. um, and he got Those in trouble with David Stern, the theory is that th- the punishment wasn't for that. It was for his NBA gambling addiction. Like he had gambled on NBA Ooh. games, and that way he could keep Michael's image safe while also punishing him. Ooh. Which I don't doubt it's at all. It's too real. That guy's it's an too asshole. real. It's like the show fucking Playmakers, which I can't get anywhere. Although I haven't really tried. You should but... try North Korea. I hear that they have like <laughs> a full library of anything you ever want to watch. Oh my god. Uh... Seriously though, like, it's don't look up what kind of person Michael Jordan is. It's so disappointing. It is. He's it such really is. a bad guy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, sorry that I think I think the like the and there was another one. Not the frozen Nazis, but it was basically not. It was like a combi- combination of that and my other one. It was that Nazis and Hitler uh, were not eliminated or whatever. They they are living in the center of the earth. Hmm. Yeah. They just peace out and went into the middle. Yeah, they're just in the middle. What? What? Okay. If let's run with it. <laughs> okay, let's run with it. When are they coming back, if ever? Two thousand and Hitler. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they they're just chilling in there. To do what? What's their goal? Nothing. Why do they go there? How do they get there? Okay, but if you go to the center of the earth, do you also simultaneously gain immortality? No. Well, then they're not still there. Well, yeah, they are. <laughs> then, Good uh... logic. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, they are. Yeah, they fucking are. No, what if they went down there with like time moves women way and stuff slower? And, yeah, what if? Yes, I was gonna say they reproduce, but that's a better yeah. thing. Or it's, just, it's a different dimension. It's the nth dimension. Mm. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. It's the nth dimension. You can keto roll into the shower and then just end up there. Mm. What's it called? I can. Oh, well, my browser quit, but it's called the real. What well, we're making up for Nazis down there. Well, I don't know. I, yeah, I was asking what it was called. Okay, so let me find it. Hold on one sec. Um, is it called Utopia? This is Utopia. It's not called Utopia. <laughs> Let's make a brand new it's actually It's actually really not called Utopia. <laughs> I hope it has some really awesome name or else I'm going to be pissed. No, it does. There was uh, Agartha. 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 Okay. Yeah. Our, our HollowEarth.com. Agartha. <laughs> You know what I wish would come back, though? What? Pangea. Ooh, you want us just to, like, merge together again? Yeah, all land just merge back together in a mob of, like, just a land. Yeah, Agartha. 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 Yeah. Has an H The land there. of advanced races. Mm-hmm. Races, plural. Oh. Cave City. 
Are they City happy? of Shambhala. Like, do you think that there's like turmoil? Oh down no, there? they're thriving. That's why they're trying to send messages to Admiral Admiral Byrd. Like, you guys stop fighting. You're gonna hurt huh. yourself and fuck your race up. And you'd think that they'd bring more people down there to spread the message more, or well, that they if would, they're, you know, get on Twitter or something, Agartha. Dude, they have Twitter like <laughs> built into their eyeballs. Like, they are so advanced. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at this graph right they now. They don't have anything Agarda. like that. They just speak with their brains. Oh, oh my god, it's so fucking crazy. What? It's basically showing that Mount Everest is Everest. 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 Okay, enough making fun of me for my pronunciation <laughs> of Mount Everest. Eight thousand eight hundred eighty-two meters tall, which is they have it like a <laughs> it's like ten kilometers. I don't know. Basically, that's just a, a ridiculous fraction of how deep. The crest goes mm. like just showing us how little we and then here it is the deepest part of the ocean which is another like basically mount everest you know what i mean and then then it's basically a garda mm. i want to go to a garda well all you got to do is jump in a plane and go north fuck man and then when you lose control of your plane that's when you know you're there mm. or you're dead sounds great sounds not worth it is that where amelia air too soon oh too soon? Let's not talk about Too planes. soon? Let's when can we make planes. jokes about... Them? Sorry. Let's not talk about planes. It makes me very anxious. <laughs> don't don't get your hands itchy. Yeah, my hands will get my itchy. My palms are itchy. That's what Rome says when she gets like anxious and nervous. My hands are itchy. When I played the creepy song for her, <laughs> her hands got itchy. What was your other one about the guy? It was a time traveler. but It was basically this guy... Um, I, I don't know. I didn't. The, the problem is I didn't like read too much into it because I was busy reading about Agartha. But his name is John Titor, or Titor. No, it's Titor, and he basically claimed to be from 2036. Awesome. Uh, invented a time machine. Awesome. Went to 2001. Did got he a, show anyone gone the time off, machine? Got on a bunch of internet forums. Uh-huh. Claimed this. Posted pictures of his time machine and pictures of the operation manual. Answered every single question that people had asked him. And then disappeared. Forever. Gone. What? Basically back to 2036 is what people theorize. Wait, so no one knows where he is? No, no one knows where he is. Where he is but, Are you uh, sure he's just not well, like he, in his farmhouse He in predicted. Montana? Apparently he predicted... Yeah, tell us about his predictions. Well, I don't know too much about up. his predictions, but I know that he predicted... <laughs> look at this site. This is the craziest Oh, he was on website. Coast to Coast AM. That guy's all over ancient aliens. All right, then I'm down with this guy. Yeah, but basically, yeah, he, he predicted some sort of mad cow breakout, uh-huh. and it happened very close to how he predicted it. Uh-huh. Uh, so it, he had a couple of these predictions that were va- like were made valid because of how they actually kind of turned out to be true. And okay, so here, let me read some of the question and answers. Yeah. I want to know. Uh, uh, let's see. Can you explain what the purpose of time travel is on your world line? In 2036, he says, a great deal of effort is going into repairing our environment. I was sent to 1975 to get a computer system and take it back to 2036. Time travel is not a secret in 2036, and I expect it will become more common. Ooh. Like, these are the answers uh, he is. How did given. they pick this guy? What? How did they pick this guy? To, uh, did we got to find in that question. In 2036, did he just build his own time machine? We got to figure like, that. We got to find that question. We got to. Okay. Has cancer or so AIDS been questions. cures yet? Cured yet? Sorry, AIDS. No, cancer. Some progress. Uh, wow, that's hopeful. What is the Jeez. entertainment industry in like 2036? Again, <laughs> entertainment is less centralized. There are movies and TV, but everything is distributed over the net, and more people produce their own shows. That sounds like right now. Yeah. Um, uh, how far? All right, I want to. I like that question. Who won the Super Bowl in 2001? I do not answer questions like this, although I don't really know the motivation for the question. I can guess if a time travel have knowledge of your future and you only ask one question, would this be it? He's basically saying, fuck you. Fuck you, yeah. <laughs> um, is GPS used in 2036? Oh, yes. In fact, I have one with me. It works here. I'm not sure why that surprises me. I don't know. <laughs> this guy seems like a troll. Well, here's the thing. He then predicted... Sorry, I don't. I got lost there. He then predicted a second civil war and World War Three. Right, which didn't. Which didn't happen. Wait, but, but he when, attributed when that. When did he predict them to happen? Obviously before twenty thirty six, because that's the year that he's hanging no, out. No, I think in. he predicted it to happen in like five years after like two thousand one. Uh. Um, someone asked him what his favorite food is. Uh, 
but, but he was saying that he said a, that was like in another a two percent deviation. Yeah. And if that's a two percent deviation, yeah, what's a five man. or a seven percent deviation? Ten percent deviation. Fuck. <laughs> God. Uh, so yeah. How did we arrive at two percent, John? John Tidor. Um, Keep going. I want to hear more. Should I look up better questions? No, just read some. All right. The, well, there's a long answer. Um, let's see. What happens to okay. Okay, here we go. What do they look for when choosing someone for a mission? Depending on the mission, time travelers are usually chosen for a particular mission based on their ability to gain the cooperation of someone related to the goal mm, on the target world line. Interesting. In my case, my grandfather was directly involved with the building and programming of the 5100, which Damn. is apparently his time machine. Okay. That's a good answer. How do you know our world line and yours will follow the same path? This world line and my own are almost exactly alike. So I guess world lines are like the linear like timetables that he's That's referring crazy. to yeah that hurts my brain really that hurts my brain a yeah. lot <laughs> yeah Ew. My brain. <laughs> where's the new u.s capital the new u.s capital is in omaha nebraska <laughs> no he did not say that yeah he did is Wait, it possible I'm... to send a message through time unless the person unless sorry unless the information physically travels with the person none that i'm aware of what like, I just want to know what happened to him. How does he have a name? How, like, how did he get around without... I believe it was all on internet forums. You can look further. I might be wrong, but that's... I mean, It seems like troll fuel. Well, yeah. Olympics canceled. 8-11-04. That's not no. right. <laughs> that didn't... <laughs> nah. That happened. Nah, dude. Uh, sorry about that little break. Our camera apparently didn't want to record Memory anymore. Memory card be full, though. Yeah. Anyway, do you have any more you want to talk about or you want to end it there? No, those are the... I really just want to talk about Hollow Moon Theory. Hollow Moon and Hollow Earth. Earth. That was a good start. I feel like we could could deviate big time. Well, I want to watch more Ancient Aliens and that way I'll have a better... Okay, if you want to go to sleep, everyone I know that I've watched it with, I'm like, you got to watch this. They just fall asleep. All right, well, I I want to go to sleep, so... (laughs) Just kidding. Some of them give me nightmares. Uh, Good. I'll feel your nightmares. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Number one on iTunes worldwide. No, I'm just uh. <laughs> uh. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed our conspiracy theory discussion. Yeah, and if you guys hate this, then just be like, fuck off, guys, and we'll never do it again. But if you like this, I'm fucking, I could sit here and talk about this for days. Yeah, let us know. And also, if you have interesting conspiracy theories, conspiracy theories you want to tell us about, comment. Yeah. And, tell us, and also us tell know. us if you think we're right or wrong, because we're probably wrong. <laughs> so, uh, we will be back next Monday with another podcast. Uh, we, we didn't tell you we are working on our new podcast room. Yeah. So you might see us in a different room next week, or it might be the week after. But regardless, we are gonna have a better setup, and we're getting a better camera eventually. Yeah. So it's gonna look better for you guys. It's gonna sound the same for you guys. Oh. Oh. Uh, are you driving your mm-hmm. car? You better. You better. You better drive a little slower. Yeah. You better drive. Let's pump the brakes and slow You better down. merge in front of someone and, and have them get angry. Mm. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, see you guys next week. See you next week. Show me your dick. All right. Okay, just show it. All right, here, monk.